All right, some good news at the Port of Baltimore today. A channel deep enough for many kinds of cargo ships opened up. WMER 2 News Elizabeth Worthington watched from Fort Armistead as the first commercial vessel passed through. Elizabeth? A trip from Baltimore to Canada that would normally attract minimal attention. This ship had a pretty big audience today. It was the first cargo ship to pass through a newly opened channel. Later, a ship not that much smaller than the Dolly, carrying cars and heavy equipment, passed through. A sign of commercial activity returning to the Port of Baltimore. It'll get us back to work and it'll probably be a slow start, but it'll, it's going in the right direction and it'll gear up and ramp up quickly, I'm sure. But everybody's ready to get back to work. Port Union President Scott Cohen had a much lighter weight on his shoulders today compared to a month ago. This was his warning just a few days after the bridge collapsed. That channel needs to be open within, within the maximum of four weeks to get, the, to get these ships back in here and get the, get the men and women of the ILA back to work. Here we are today, ships sailing right in between the wreckage and the dolly. This is the fourth alternate channel to open in the last month, but this one is deep enough for much larger ships and is set to bring a great deal of commercial activity back to the port. It'll bring in the vast majority of our ships with the cargo. You know, there's only, most ships can, don't need the full 50 feet, okay. but some do. You know, some of our some of our larger container ships and our export coal mm -hmm. vessels they need the they need the deep water, mm -hmm. the the roll and roll off and the sugar and, and various other ships they don't need that kind of draft so they can yeah. they can get in. The new channel is actually only going to be open for a few days. Then traffic is going to be suspended again for about 10 days to give operators enough time and space to safely remove the wreckage from the dolly and eventually get it out of the way. The limited access channel here is expected to reopen on May 10th. I'm hopeful that we'll have this thing fully going by May 10th. Cohen estimates about 100 workers out of the 2400 he represents will return for this first stretch. So not many at first, but once this limited access channel opens back up, depending on the volume of ship traffic, we I'm sure we're going to be able to get a, you know, a good bit of our folks back to work. And the Unified Command says the entire channel should open by the end of May. In Baltimore, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.